you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on high scale deployment of 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of the many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll take a look at a few Ruckus APs to determine their current firmware version, and then we'll follow the process of manually configuring these APs to talk to a Smart Zone controller. Let's get started. For this demonstration, you can see that we have two access points. Um, we've got them stacked on top of each other currently just to show the LED kind of configuration pattern on these. We've got the Ruckus R310 on the top and the Ruckus R510 on the bottom. And you can see that the Ruckus R310 on the top uh, has a control LED that is solid green and the R510 has a control LED that is slow flashing green. Uh, we're gonna take a look at both of these. We're gonna log into their CLI here and take a look at what's kind of going on version wise. Um, so on my screen, you can see on the left-hand side is actually our R510. I've already logged into it. It says R510 multimedia hot zone. That's a kind of a dead giveaway that this is the R510. So we're gonna do a firmware show all and we can see that the firmware version is 114.0.0.0.1360 and both the image one and image two. We can see that we are booted off of image two. Um, and this is the standalone uh, version of the uh, firmware for this AP. This AP does support just pointing to a smart zone controller with some commands uh, that we'll get to here in a moment. On the right hand side, we've got a unleashed network command line interface. So uh, I know that this is the R310 because that's the IP address I gave the R310. This R310 happens to be running um, unleashed firmware. So typically this is managed through the unleashed GUI, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at a few things here. We're gonna run the enable command. Um, we're gonna enter into AP mode and we're gonna do the firmware show all on here as well. So on this, we can see that we are running version 200.6 in both the primary uh, and secondary image, and we are booting off of the primary image and image one. Um, there are a few more steps uh, that we need to do. Both of these can, can accept the commands to connect into the uh, smart zone controller, um, but you have to run that enable command and you have to enter into AP mode before you can start to do uh, the commands that you need to do to configure the controller on the unleashed access points. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump back over to the R510 um, and we're gonna run the, uh, uh, we're gonna run get SCG. So we can run get SCG. We can see that the uh, service is enabled, it's not being managed, and there is a connection get address state and not found server list. Um, shown here. So what that means, basically, we don't have any IP addresses configured. Um, it's not pulling anything from DHCP, which it, it wouldn't. This is um, this is a statically configured AP, but um, it did basically did not discover any smart zone address. So we are going to natively or manually rather, we're going to manually give a smart zone address. So we're going to do set SCG IP and we're going to do the IP address of the uh, smart zone. So once we do this, we're going to kind of ex uh, take a look at what happens to the controller LED here. We see that it was doing the slow blink. So um, there will be a discovery. The uh, AP will communicate with the controller, and the AP should be placed into the staging mode, which we will see in an upcoming video. So while that's running, we've got a camera on it, so we can kind of watch what happens to that. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the Ruckus AP. It's actually the same command uh, that we can use. We just had to do the enable mode and the AP mode um, to be able to get to where we can run the set SCG IP command. We can also run the get SCG uh, as well just to show you um, that it is um, something that we can run. Again, it's enabled, but it is disconnected. No server list found. So again, there was no um, method of, of getting the smart zone address to this AP because it was statically defined. Um, you may notice that the control light on the R310 is already uh, solid green. Uh, this is because 
this is an unleashed um, firmware. And in this particular case, it is the only AP uh, on this network. It is the master. So anytime you uh, you come ag come across uh, an AP that that is running unleashed, that is the master, the controller LED is going to be solid green. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run the same set SCG IP command. Nope, oh, I almost tried to type the wrong one there. And we can see that the mode on both of these was OK. On the unleashed AP, we will need to quit to save the changes um, and then reboot the AP so that they can take effect. After running the set SCG commands and rebooting the R310, we can see now that we have a few APs showing up in the smart zone staging zone. We can also see that the control LED on the R310 is doing a fast green flash while the R510 is still doing the slow uh, green flash. We're going to go ahead and stop here for today, um, but join us for another video where we move these APs into different zones, push firmware and configuration. Thanks for taking the time to view this brief demonstration. We hope you view additional topics in our Smart Zone Release 5.2 demo series. Thank you.